Right, so this is Sway. Uh, Sway is this cool little program from Office. It comes pre-installed with Office 365. I believe that it's internet only, however. Um, you can add images, text, audio, video, and you can also change the design of how it's presented. So quite kind of like an advanced PowerPoint in some ways, but it has some features that PowerPoint or Google Slides doesn't have, and some extra ones as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and create an example one. For this quick tutorial, I will show um, how to do that using this template for the blog, because um, I believe this is for your process journal, process journal. So it gives you a preview of what it looks like before you've started to make any edits. Um, beautiful picture of some tomatoes here, once it loads. Your title, some text, just to show you what it looks like, what Sway can do. A gallery here, some more text, and then it appears to be a tweet. And again, more text. So it's quite basic, which is fine for us. So let's start editing. Okay, so it just needs a little bit of preparation time to get that ready for you. And what we'll look at right now is just replacing those images. Okay, this is the title, as we've just saw. So the first thing we'll do is change this to grade six drama journal. And maybe you can put in your name as well. Okay. And then we're gonna to go to the image over here. Just gonna click details for a second. And can we change it? Uh, no, you cannot. So we need to delete it, okay? So to do that, just click delete. And then it keeps these two parts of this card. These are called cards, by the way. Title card. Um, showing you what you can do. So I'm going to click Add Background. Right. Cool thing about Sway is you've got the suggested uh, search over here. So we can actually search within here. Okay, something like Explore in the G Suite programs. So I'm going to search for Drama. Okay, um, click the search one. Now, of course, you can search outside here and then just save the image and upload it, which we'll look at in a second. But just first of all, let's have a look to see what we've got So for Drama. Now, a couple of things I want to point out is this is Creative Commons. Now, that means that, well, I hope it means that the license for this is for us. So we can use this without fear of infringing copyright. If you untick it, you'll probably get a lot more search results, um, but we're just going to tick it for now. In addition to that, you can download from OneDrive, so you can search for drama files in your OneDrive. It'll search for you there. Uh, you can search on Bing, of course, which is where this takes it from, because it's a Microsoft product. Pick it, which I have not used before, so you can give that a go. Um, and also your device, so you can upload directly from your device too. But for now, I'm just gonna go suggested, and I'm actually gonna use this image. Now just be aware of this. For the, If you remember those tomatoes or tomatoes that came up, they were at the top, and it, you could see it in great detail. So it's like a banner image almost. Make sure that when you do select your banner image that you go for um, a large file size. Now, we can't see the actual file size itself, but we can see the image size, which is two, just over 2,000 pixels by just over 1,500 pixels. Okay, so the first one is the width, the second one is the height. Okay, so we're gonna uh, select it first of all, got your little tick there, and then click add, there we go. Okay, what I would suggest you do now is have a look at the design to see how it looks. Grand, I'm happy with that. And I hope you are too. Now, a couple of other things you could do here while we're here is go into focus points. Now, you can either say the entire image is important. Okay, so it'll just display that or untick that and select a focal point. So if I want it, the focal point to be this wee fella's face. Okay, it should zoom in here. So let's have a look and see uh, what happens there. So I'm just gonna close that new focal point, click design, okay, it's hard to see, to make it out there, but um, I'm assuming, yeah, it should go in there, okay. What you've got down here is how it looks on different devices, so the top one is the default, which is laptop, 
then you've got your tablet device and smartphone as well. Okay, so it just shows you a preview of what it would look like on that. Okay, um, before we look at text, let's have another look at the image here. So this is, um, if we go back to design, I'll show you what happens. So you'll have grade six drama journal, your name, the text which we can change later on, and then an image of something you want to show. Um, now, as before, we can't actually replace it. We have to delete that. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. You can go to there, and there's no way to delete that. Okay, and you do have these other extra cards in here, these text cards, which means, I'll just quickly say, if you put something in here, so let's put in uh, cupcake. I'm actually hungry looking at this. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like with that caption text. You can see it appears on the right. Um, the alternative text, if you notice that, so if I go details again, this would display if the for some reason the image didn't load, this would just this display. So our image is loading, so it's not displaying. You don't need to worry about that. Okay, so what can we do if we don't want this? Well, we need to delete it. So make sure you select it, select that card, okay, and then one last chance to see if we can change it in there. No, we need to delete this little guy. Okay, but now it's gone. So in order to get something in there, I'm just going to click plus image, and I'm going to drag that up. So let's give that a go. Can we drag it? Not that way. There we go. Yeah. So just be careful when you're uh, clicking and dragging. Okay. Um, you notice that, that when the little finger pointer comes up, it doesn't work. So you need to select the card first of all. Uh, make sure the cursor looks like oh the um, little cross, I suppose, there. A little plus symbol with arrows at the end of each line. And then you can drag it up and down. Okay. Then, of course, just as we did before, um, for the image, you can either just click and drag or you can go up here. Uh, of course, it just does depend on what you want to put in there. So I'm going to put in a couple of masks. There we go. Okay. And again, what we can do, we can add some focus points. Um, either tell it directly, or you've also got some sets, um, preset ones here. So the emphasis here, the emphasis on this card is set to intense. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. So go to design. Wow. Zooms right in. Let's go back to see what it looks like without intents. So if we go to the smallest one, back to design, and you can see, yeah, it doesn't zoom in, and then it puts the text to the right here. So that's pretty much images covered with a little bit on focus points and emphasis. Um, don't forget, if you do want to put some caption text in, it will display to the right. So let's have another quick go with that. So masks, back to design. So you can just see where that appears. Okay, have fun playing around with the 